Father God, I pray that this word would touch someone today. Lord, I pray that I am a vessel for you and you would shut me down when you want me to stop and that you would fill me with wisdom with all of my words. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. I thank you, Alicia, for allowing me to be a part of this. And I pray that God would um, use me in this moment and that it would touch someone. If it would just touch one, one person, God, that's all I ask for. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Just waiting for a few to join. And then I'll start. I guess I'll go ahead and start. There are a lot of snakes in a garden and they come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. It may be a friend, but it can also be a family member. There are some that don't like you and just don't deal with you. Some are vicious liars that try to steal your joy some claim they love you while waiting patiently for your downfall. Some will take and take from you, leaving you gasping for air. And then there are the ones that are really close to you, watching your every move and will smile in your face with hate in their heart. They will slander your name make fun and belittle you behind your back, all while trying to stop the calling on your life. Joseph's brothers sold him to slavery, and Cain killed his brother in a jealous rage. Then there is the Saul's in your life that cannot stand to see you shine. Saul was David's father-in-law and grew to hate him because of the anointing on his life. He was so jealous that he repeatedly tried to kill him, it says in 1 Samuel 19. And then there is Judas, the biggest snake of all, who betrayed the Lord with a kiss and 30 silver coins. They will wrap themselves around you with their manipulation lies, backbiting, and cunning ways until they immobilize you with fear or make you second guess yourself or even gaslight you. Don't be naive. I know learning your bestie is out to cut your throat can hurt. Don't take it so personal. You're not dealing with that person. You're dealing with a hateful, jealous spirit. Man's rejection is God's protection. I chose this subject because I have encountered this many, many times in my life. And I have seen it happen to many others too. You do not have to keep the company of Jezebels and Delilahs to fit in the crowd. Matthew seven sixteen. You can identify them by their fruit. That is by the way they act. Can you pick grapes from a thorn bush or figs from thistles? If she is a Delilah, cut her off. Cut her off. No ifs, ands, or buts. Actions speak louder than words. And if you have to make excuses for your friend's behavior, that's a wake-up call. They are not your friend. When I think of snakes in my life, I always think of the Lion King. It's the same jealous spirit Scar had on Simba. 
And also in the movie The Jungle Book, Shere Khan sitting on the rock with these innocent little wolves trying to manip manipulate them with his wickedness. I am not saying all your family or friends are bad, but we have to be very careful who we vent and pour our trust into. Pray for discernment. Jeremiah 9.4 says, Beware of your friends. Do not trust anyone in your clan, for every one of them is a deceiver and every friend a slanderer. Always remember this. You can feed a snake, love a snake, Pray for a snake. It doesn't matter. It's still going to bite you. But there is a shepherd larger than any snake in our life that will block all the wicked schemes. And we must stand on the word of God. Scripture tells us, these are a few of my favorites. Isaiah fifty four seventeen, No weapon formed against you will prosper. And every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you will condemn. Psalms 23, 5 through 6. You prepare a table for me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 138 through 7. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch out your hand against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand will save me. Psalm 91, 7. A thousand may fall at your side, and ten thousand at your right hand, but it shall not come near you. I'd like to um, close with a prayer. I want to pray today over everyone on here that the Lord may reveal to you every snake, slandering, split tongue, wicked, hidden enemy will be revealed to you in the name of Jesus. I always love this scripture. But from being in the Bible study and learning more in depth about the Bible, a lot on fake friends and snakes in our life. This particular one, I always hear it quoted wrong. Even myself, I've done it. I always thought it was, what's done in the dark will come into the light. But it's, whatever you have said in the dark will be heard in the light. And what you have whispered behind closed doors will be shouted from housetops for all to hear. Luke 12, verses 3. So how is that for exposed? May God expose every snake in your life. I claim in Jesus' name every secret agenda, every Haman up to no good, every Saul, Delilah, Jezebel, or Ahab out to destroy you be blocked from you, in Jesus' name, amen. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. And that is the Lord's promise to us. Amen.